Good morning and welcome to Wednesday the 3rd of February morning update from Phoenix Blue. Okay, so last night we had some interesting moves on the Kiwi. Well, that ruined our second trade. So yesterday we had a great start to the day, our original trade in Kiwi. Um, hit first target, we moved our stops to break even, but then last night the unemployment and employment data came out from New Zealand that was a lot better than anticipated and we saw a big move in the Kiwi overnight. Um, news to focus on today will be the US dollar sterling. We've got some big news coming out over the, in fact, the entire week. So what I would say is, guys, maybe this is a week to trade at re reduced risk. Um, yes, it is our job and it's our career to make money but there's no point being exposed in a market that we don't know any answers to so while ever there's going to be these major news announcements and this week we do have a lot with the ADP figures coming out today from the US and then we've got non-farms also later but let's have a look at um, the data that we've got coming out this week I'm just going to pull that up for you on the screen so today we can see we've got the PMI numbers coming out from the UK services, then the ADP non-farm employment change, so this is the employment data without government and farming in, in there. Uh, we've also got the ISM non-factoring PMI numbers, so anything over 50 is showing expansion. This is a survey. Um, anything under 50 is showing contraction okay so the other thing we've got to look at is what the the forecast is here 55.1 and see what the number comes out at so anything greater or equal to 55.1 should be okay for the US dollar okay remember what we're looking for if we want to carry our bias through for, throughout this year with monetary policy divergences what we're looking for is for the US to hit figures or better figures than are expected going forward Okay, this will then give us a better probability that they're likely to raise rates again in March, which is fantastic if we want to do trend follow trend systems. Okay, the other the other big uh, number coming out is crude oil inventories. So that's that's going to affect the Canadian dollar. Um, this is something that we need to see. The Canadian dollar will be affected more so by this number uh, than the U.S. So this is how much uh, oil we've got in stock. So are the supplies um, are they mounting or are they decreasing? So obviously, this can have an impact both ways. So it's not a it's not some it's not a figure we can always guarantee is going to give us a certain result because there's other side influences with the price of oil. So they're the major news announcements to watch out for today. So let's have a look what happened in Asia overnight. So if we look at the Nikkei 225, look at this. So yesterday when we talked about the gap up. Then we could see that we were having a bullish day and then it started to close lower down. Now look what's happened. We've seen a huge sell-off in the Nikkei. So nearly all the gains that have been made have been lost. What do we put this down to? Well, are we seeing risk off coming back in? Are the markets still uncertain? Is news coming out of China not helping? Is it the price of oil weighing on? Um, Asian stocks going under $30 a barrel again. I mean, there's so many external influences right now, and generally most of them aren't very good. So what we've got to see is how is the market going to react? Remember, price is like a magnet. It comes back to support and resistance. So we're probably going to find it's going to come back down to the 16.8 level, but then from there, what's it going to do? So overnight, big sell-off in the Nikkei. So over to the Shanghai Composite, well, it's not really doing a great deal, is it? We're, it's probably going to come back somewhere here, but our bias is to the short side, um, and we think that's going to weigh on other markets. Okay, um, let's move across to the Chinese one, and again, very, very sideways, not doing anything. The question is now, will, it, will China devalue their currency again? after all the devaluations that they did last year. Okay, so we can see those markets uh, overnight. Big move in the Nikkei. What's going to translate to today? Um, we've already seen that oil is moving a little higher today. So let's um, let's come across two markets that we can trade. Okay, so let's um, analyze the Euro dollar. So 
the euro is in this wedge pattern we've also got this top line barrier and floor here so we can see that up here at 109.750 108 is a key areas but also this top trend line here the top of the wedge are biases to the short side so intraday traders you can look be looking at short short positioning from here to the downside I'd be looking to get out the safest way to trade this market will actually be look for a clean break and close above or below one of these zones and then look to trade from it okay that will give you a directional bias dollar CAD again we got our close above the 1.4 level but look it's coming straight back down there's nothing we can see that this is just basically we're, we're, we're in a position right now where it doesn't really seem to have any direction i.e. what it wants to do right now because there's one news announcement over another about supply and demand OPEC Russia everyone's getting involved so I do want to go long I do believe there is oversupply in the market and not enough demand um, but what I'm going to wait for now is confirmation so I'm either going to look for a trade from around the 138.20s but here we seem to be in a bit of a in a bit of a rut whether it's something to do with we've got the crude oil inventories coming out later today who knows we've already had one losing trade here so like I said yesterday and I'll reiterate the same things every day is that we're going to sit on the sidelines until price comes to us or we actually see a solid move up and then we'll potentially look to trade from that area again okay cable is doing exactly what we want we did see um, the the low over here when it was a commitment of traders six months extreme we've seen a bullish move up we've had uh, yesterday some news out of the UK and EU um, that seems positive for the UK whether this is just a bit of profit taking before Mr Carney speaks tomorrow who knows but again like I said our plan was let the market come to us up around the late 1.45s to 1.46s and we're going to look to trade short and we're going to look to take some money off early somewhere through here let the market continue to the downside and we do have longer term targets of which we have stated many many times around the mid 1.3s okay New Zealand dollar well if we can see what was happening we took our trade here we hit first target stops went to break even and then last night the data was good it's broken through so what's probably going to happen here I can see maybe the Kiwi rallying somewhere up and around the 66 80s so what we could probably look at as a short-term correction is providing we get a strong close above our zone here today okay we can then look for a pullback into this zone and trade it this will be it's not going to be a massive move um, my longer term bias is to the short side for Kiwi but I will trade the short term um, bullish momentum based off this data so I'd expect maybe a, if we get a strong close today I'll look for a pullback into this region we'll look to trade it long so this is one trade to watch out for Aussie USD again what we're going to look for is same thing I said yesterday sells from 71.70 dollar Swiss well we're in this position from 90, uh, 99.70 we've had half money out we've taken a bit more out and we've got our last little bit running it is pulling back a little bit our ultimate targets are around 1.03 but we are looking to add into this position we were looking to add in initially down here but we've now got an add in at 1.0115 and we're looking to run that up first targets in and around 1.0190 and then second target will be up at 1.03 um, the dollar yen <coughs> well we can see this is the impact of the Nikkei okay we've got our risk off scenario we've got Asian stock stocks selling off they're buying yen so we'll probably see that we're going to have some decent trades that we were highlighting yesterday on CAD yen so if we come back up what we were looking at yesterday was a break below this low here and a comeback retest and we'll trade this one short this was a market we've highlighted quite a while ago now we can see I just squeeze this in so you can see where our analysis comes from we can see beautiful tram lines intersection the market came down tested it had a nice correction and we're looking to get short from up top 
here this is the weekly chart but daily yeah we could see price action gave us the hanging man um, we could have sold underneath here but what we're looking for is a better entry and better stop okay guys in terms of um, charts that I want to look at that'll be it for today if you have enjoyed today's content and our previous content please click the like button and join us and subscribe to our channel and watch every day we've got more updates coming out on Instagram our Instagram name is Phoenix Blue Trading if you do have any questions please email info at phoenixblue.co.uk our website isn't live yet but it will be with you shortly um, if you are wanting any updates or any information on what we provide please email info at phoenixblue.co.uk with all questions and we'll be happy to help okay guys have a great trading day and remember be careful it is a high impact news week okay speak soon and see you in the morning bye bye